I thought I'd give an update about one of the little projects I've been playing around with. This is a motor from a bread maker. And uh, this is the, the bottom side. And then the motor is here that powers it. I took the stator and so on out of the motor. The motor was only 128th horsepower, so I wasn't gonna bother to uh, convert it over to making a little generator. So my thought was, um, I'm gonna, on the other side here, I'm gonna connect a drill to it. You'll see in a bit. But anyway, so here's the part here that the, the bread maker part, the, the pan sits down in and it turns around. I'm gonna grind down a notch out of the shaft. The existing one I had wasn't long enough. got my new shaft in here there's a little bit more play in here than the old piece uh, I'm not too worried about that I had to use a series of uh, washers and stuff for spacers but I didn't want any play back and forth that's how it is in the middle and then on this side so yeah you just use a nail as a cotter pin for now and some spacers. There's no play back and forth. If I had some grease, I'd put it all in here. But I don't have any grease right now, it's elsewhere. Just got a big chunky washer on here, it's not pretty, but it should work good. So I'll show you what my idea was. It's a spare grill. I bought it at a garage sale when I bought uh, this drill here. And it's got a good chuck on it that works. And my idea was to get this drill on here like this, tighten it up, and then uh, on the other end here, connected to this shaft, would be the vertical axis wind turbine that I'm kind of in the working on and it would turn here and turn the shaft here into the motor. So I mean, it might work, it might not work, it's just fun to try out different things and I'll keep you posted on my progress. Thanks for watching.